Brasilia is a young city. It will turn 51 next month. But it began as a dream more than a century ago. In 1883, Dom Bosco, Brasilia's patron saint, had a vision that one day a capital city of a great nation would be built between the 15th and 20th parallels. It would be a model for the future and ensure that opportunity was the birthright of every Brazilian. And today, this city and this country are indeed a model for the future. Umberto Eco wrote of Don Bosco that this clever reformer intuited that industrial society required new ways to bring people together, first for young people, then for adults. So he invented the Silesian Oratory. The Oratory is a perfect machine harmonizing every kind of communication channel, from games to music, from theater to the press. The genius of the oratory is that it lays down a moral and religious code for those who attend it, but then accepts people who do not follow it. In this sense, Don Bosco's project affected all Italian society in the industrial era. Don Bosco is a universal brand. Throughout the world today, millions of people identify with his spirituality. More than 100,000 people offer their lives as he did every day. Over the past five years, the glass casket containing his relics completed a journey around the world. Millions came to greet him. But both coaches stood on their sideline as St. John Bosco sees the moment. Or tonight's matchup is an excellent one. Centennial versus St. John Bosco. Don Bosco. He was born 200 years ago, but he remains incredibly young. He's more alive than ever. Two hundred years ago, the Battle of Waterloo was a slaughterhouse for young lives. It plagued Europe. Don Bosco's peers include Karl Marx, Samuel Colt, Abraham Lincoln, Giuseppe Garibaldi. John Bosco was born on a remote farm amongst the hills of a village without history in a nation that did not yet exist. There were no opportunities for the future. All he could do was continue in the farming tradition. But, as with any life just beginning, there was Steve Jobs' favorite question. Do you want just any old life, or do you want to change the world? John Bosco has a dream that would mark his life. He would say, I want to study. I want to be a priest. I want to save young people. His decision, he would change the world through education. He wanted to start from the bottom with the smallest ones, the most naive, the most exploited. He began with a playground. It would become the essential heart of every Silesian work. A free space without boundaries, except the sky. Room for life. A playground, a place where youngsters can play, amuse themselves, meet up with others, burst with energy. The best place for education. It would become a home, school, church, a place for living. Don Bosco's world is a global playground a network where every node has the same original experience. The dream has become reality. The Silesians also went to places where no one dared go.
Don Bosco still dreams today, striding through the world streets with every step we take. <laughs>